In this video, we're going to take a look at another function in the Illustrator beta. To get the beta, you can use the Creative Cloud app, go into the beta section and download the beta, which is possible if you have a Creative Cloud subscription. It's a public beta and of course, if you find some issues with it or don't like the functionality, then please give feedback in order to make this better and useful for everyone. Of course, you have tested out the mock-up feature because that's why everyone downloads the beta, but there's some more in it. Maybe you have already peeked around and, you know, inspected everything and there's this one in the tool panel the dimension tool and yes it does what it's called so you take this and when using it it's best to use smart guides so view smart guides turn them on in order to work precisely and then there are three ways to use it you can just use the dimension tool and click on the path segment and then you get dimension lines on that path segment. The next way to use it is click and drag in order to place those dimension lines where you need them. So maybe you need some distance. And then also what you can do is click here, the smart guides catch that. Then, of course, press shift if you want it horizontally and then click again. And then you can click again to place them like we did with this one. Now, let's zoom out of here. So there's a pizza box. And of course, you see when you just click here, we can't use that. So in that case, we would actually, you know, pick this up and then pick this up and then do it like so. There's more to it. You can double click the tool and then you can configure that and you can set the line weight and the color and you can set this offset that it does automatically, the scale for the arrowheads and the units. So it can pick up the document units and you can also choose from here. Those extension lines can also be turned off if you don't like them. So if you just want to have your dimension lines far away from the object and don't want the extension lines, then you can turn them off. So I'm going to apply this. So these lines, those are the extension lines. And to set the document units, of course, you right click the rulers and then you can choose the document units and that's how you set this up. So let's go in here again and you see here you can also choose the font family and of course font size. So just configure this to your need and then use it. And then of course, if you want to give feedback, then do that and improve this feature for everyone.